welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are at my house because we're going to be giving my entryway a makeover and I'm gonna show you everything that I do step by step. If you enjoyed this video, I really hope you can consider subscribing and without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. So when you come, this is my front door and this is my entryway. I wanna do a cute little nice decoration right there. And then in here, if you remember, is where I put my Christmas tree and I have my console table. This is also part of my entryway. So I just wanna decorate this area right here, as you can see. The first thing we need to tackle today though is my front door. It's all scraped up and I'm so sorry, this um, shot is going to be very poor in lighting, but this is how my front door is looking like. And the culprit of that is this little man right here. He loves to climb on the door and bark at people. And even though I love him, he's my baby and it's okay if he wants to bark at strange people. I do have to teach him not to climb on the door Door and basically do all that mess. So that is the first thing I'm going to be tackling today. So I'm starting here by sanding lightly my door just to get rid of, of all those paint pieces that are hanging around because like I said, my dog climbs in here and his nails basically destroy the paint. I'm going to vacuum the floor and then I'm going to place my tape on the edges to go ahead and give this a nice and fresh coat of paint. And in full honesty, I couldn't find the perfect shade of charcoal for my door. So I went ahead and used acrylic paint, which did make a match in here. I know it looks slightly different, but that's because the paint was wet. Once it dried, it was all good. Okay, the door is done. That was super easy to do. It took me like five minutes, no kidding maybe 10 with the sanding process. I am a little bit nervous because I see a slight difference between the tones of charcoal. However, I do think it's because the paint is wet. So I'm gonna let it dry while I assemble my bench, which is going to be the next project for this decor project. I'm going to insert a picture of my inspiration for this spot right here. I wanted to create a cozy yet modern and beautiful space and I came across this picture and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Such a good taste that she had doing and creating her space. She is a professional decorator. Her name is Fabiana. But I did not want to do it exactly the same but I search and search and search and honestly I couldn't find a bench that I like as much as this one. And by the time I went ahead and purchased it, it went down in price. I actually ended up paying $137 for this bench, which I got from Target and I'm going to make sure to link down below for you. Okay, that is assembled. That was super easy. It took me 10 minutes and I love 
how it's looking in this little spot right here i really love the combination with the door i think this door is very modern so i feel like this bench is really serving to the door and the entrance of the house i'm already excited for this project okay on to the next thing the next thing is going to be creating a photo gallery in this wall i'm going to talk a little bit more about the frames that i picked while i assemble all the pictures in each little frame that i have okay this are these are the frames that i'm going to be working with ignore my husband's chess game back there but I love these frames. I showcased them in a Target haul that I posted a while ago. This is a set of frames that came in a set of nine. I'm actually only going to use eight for this project, but that's fine. The other one or the remaining one I'll use in a different project. But as you can see, the mat is really large. And I love that because that is going to provide for a very high-end designer looking picture or frame or however you want to call it so this is the layout i have and the middle of the frames which is this gap right here needs to measure probably 56 to 58 inches on that wall right there why i don't know that's what designers say they say that it has to be eye height and therefore that's the measurement you need to adopt for hanging pictures, mirrors, walls, and whatnot. The center of it needs to be that, that dimension. So in this case, the center of this little gallery right here is going to be this. So this needs to measure 56 to 58 inches from the floor to this point right here. Just a little tip when assembling your picture wall gallery is to tape your pictures in place behind the mat or the frame. As you can see here, these frames have a very large mat, which I really like, but the pictures were not large enough, so just tape them. I'm using a little bit of washi tape, and I'm using all black and white pictures just because I enjoy that look, but you don't have to. You can use natural color pictures, and it's still going to look beautiful and high-end if your picture frame has a large mat like these. And honestly, these are the best price that I could find out there for a set of nine. You're basically paying less than $5 for them. I am going to go ahead and link this set down below. I paid $50, but now it's $40 our target. So that's an amazing deal for this set of nine. I'm also going to put in here a picture of what inspired me to do this wall gallery. This designer combined a similar wall gallery to the one I'm creating here, but he put wall sconces on the side, which kind of was similar to the idea that I want to resemble from this other designer. And I like to give credit to whoever deserves credit and be completely transparent with you all on where am I getting my inspiration to decorate. These ideas are super trendy, so I really cannot claim them my own but I am so happy that I decided to use these ideas around my house because I love how this space right here turned out. And as you can see, I'm just guiding myself with marks on the wall, a leveler and a ruler to be able to place my picture frames in place using command strips. All right, so this is how my gallery ended up turning out. One thing I'm gonna tell you, if you are going to use command strips like I did, do not put the strips on the side of the frame. It's better if you put them at the top and at the bottom. That way it's just not visible on the sides like it is with this one. I hope I can still hide it with the lamps that I'm going to install in here, but that's just a little tip. Overall, I love how this turned 
out and then sneak peek those are the little lamps that I'm going to be installing on the wall I love the look of these these are going to look so pretty here and I was very hesitant to buy gold or brass only because my house has a lot of light fixtures in silver so there's a light fixture in silver but it's also an age silver and it took me so long to be able to decide if I wanted to go for the gold if I wanted to go for the black or if I wanted to go for the silver but I really was not into the silver lamps for those lamps I think it's gonna look fine The wall sconces you're going to see me use, I bought from Amazon and in here I'm just installing them without all the lighting system. I'm just attaching them to the wall and I plan to use a battery operated bulb. I did hit one of the studs here. My stud finder did not have any battery and I did not have any replacement batteries at home on this day, but I really wanted to install them. But it's just not a big deal if you just hit the stud. Don't use an anchor, just go straight with the screw and that's it. And this is how they ended up looking. Oh my God, I'm in love. Still ask me what's the room I stay in If I didn't know any better I'd probably give you my plastic key card You're waiting around to go out with somebody And you will not I am extremely happy. I think these pillows are too big. I'm just working with what I have because I haven't been able to find throw pillows that I really like for this space. But overall, I am over the moon with how this space turned out. I think it's very modern, very classic, and I can just change the pillows with the seasons to make it look a little bit more seasonal. And I still think it's very beautiful. I am in love. So I am going to kind of wrap it up for today. Tomorrow, I have a couple more projects that I wanna do in this area that I spoke about in the beginning of this video. And of course, I'll bring you along with me, but this is a progress. It took me nearly three hours to do all of this. Honestly, what took me the most time was figuring it out how to install lamps. I've never even drilled a hole in a wall. So. You act like you want me drop me for a new okay, so we are on day two of this decor video. And the next thing I'm going to do is basically decorate this console table. I actually wanted to change this console table, but I haven't found anything that I love, that I think it's a great price. So for now, I'm gonna keep it, but I am going to do some stuff different. First of all, I'm going to remove this random decor I have here from Easter. I mean, that's what I mean when I want to give my house a more neutral decor, because then this stuff happens. I have random stuff all over the place when it's a non-season time of the year. So I'm going to start by removing this and I'm going to hang a mirror, which I'm gonna show you in just one second. First thing that I made sure when installing this mirror was that I can make proper marks in the wall at the height that I wanted the mirror and now I'm just choosing a drill that can match the anchors and I'm just using the anchors that the mirror brought. Very important. And I did put a new battery on my stud finder and I'm using it here and I'm realizing that one of my marks is actually going to hit the stud again. So no big deal. I'm going to use an anchor on one side and then the other side can go in straight with the screw. It's just good to know ahead of time.
these mirrors are very popular right now. I did search for the one with the best price and I ended up finding mine at Sam's Club. I'm going to leave the exact link for it down below. I paid $49 for this really large mirror and I think it's the best deal that I could find out there. Oh my God, this looks so pretty. I just cannot wait to decorate this area. And remember I said that I wasn't sure about the console table? Well, now I love it. I love it with this mirror. It looks so good. I'm so happy I didn't get a new console table because this one is working really well. Let me show you. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. This lamp I got from Target. I was hunting for it for a while until I was able to get it on a discount and I ended up paying $45 for it. I am going to leave the link for it down below. This cute little vase I actually got from Hobby Lobby on a discount week. So I ended up paying probably $13 for it. And in here I wanted to show you a little tip if you're working with greenery and how to make sure that all the greenery is spread out evenly around your vase is to just divide it with pieces of tape like so. This is what professional florists do when creating arrangements. At the end, I decided not to use this division with the tape only because of the type of plant or fall greenery that I was using. And I got these from Etsy. I think that it's a great price for a set of six stems. And they do look very beautiful, just like olive tree stems. I'm making sure to fluff them properly and placing them on my vase. And you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just placing some candle holders and little details all around. I used an old book, that little chain I got from Marshalls and some candle holders and candles that I already have. And this is the final result. And that is going to be everything for today's video, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am super, super excited with how this little space in my house turn out. I just cannot wait to give it mild changes to adjust it to the seasons. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know in the comment section down below if you grab any new ideas during this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I really hope I can see you in my next video. Bye. I'm out of